back for episode 63 for a second time. Um, <laughs> where the girls are still here, Danielle and Alexis, and we are going to work on some appetizers, some quick things you can do. Uh -huh. You know, having friends over, you got a half hour to get ready. Yeah. Trick is do the hot stuff first. So let's get some bacon going. Okay, so that's all you do with that, and then you're going to kind of separate so it. Yeah. <laughs> Alexis doesn't like to touch raw things. No, they're so going to make. I'll take I'll one for it. the team. <laughs> No, I'll do the pepperoni. You'll eat bacon after it's cooked, right? Well, I, <laughs> I like turkey bacon. I know. Oh, turkey bacon isn't bacon. It is bacon. No, it's not. Hey, it's, you it's, can burn it, it. You can crisp it's it. It's turkey that has been processed flat and laid out and cut into strips to mock the look of bacon. So what do you call this? That's bacon. Pork that's that pork. is laid out. <laughs> no, that's sliced right off that way. Oh. Yeah, off. it's right off of there. So, Touché. <laughs> turkey bacon is not bacon. Here's your daily bacon lesson. You know, I will eat regular bacon, but I have to burn it. So oh, you like, like it crispy? I like it burnt. <laughs> <laughs> so past crispy, just, yeah. just straight burnt. Because <laughs> I don't want any of the fat, so I... Oh, God, that's the best part. Yeah. I don't know. I have to agree with Alexis on that one. Yeah. I like my bacon crispy. I like it crispy. Burnt. <laughs> <laughs> Not burnt. Yeah, no, not burnt. All right. So I got some dough here. I can handle that. Okay, I'm gonna lay it out. Okay. And this is like it's like crescent rolls, but it's a sheet. And I got some cookie cutters. So even though this will air after Christmas, it'll give mm. you an idea of different stuff you can do with it. So I got candy cane, a tree, and a guy. So let's see if we can <clears throat> cut some shapes. I got the fun part. <laughs> then we're going to throw them in the oven to bake. Okay? Mm -hmm. And then when we take them out, we're going to do different toppings and such on them. All right. It's a good thing I didn't give her a whole package of bacon. We'll leave an hour show. <laughs> See, I'm left handed, and not all scissors are made it's for people fat. like me. Good. <laughs> good. Oh, yeah. Okay, that worked. Yay. So, Yay. I don't know if this will work as well because this dough is going to pump up, so maybe the candy cane isn't really. Oh, they're really looking right. like a candy cane. But it was just, just the idea of using a cookie cutter. Okay, you ready with that? I am ready. Keep cutting and get as close as you can so you don't waste. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. I'm gonna Row number one. Answer. Don't waste the Go food. ahead. Uh, pardon me, I'm coming around your girlfriend. And I'm just going to put that on and let it start doing its thing. And I don't know where the towel went, so I will get a fresh one. The burgundy one? Yeah. It is right here on the dishwasher. Well, here, it's probably wet. Oh, well, thank you. How you doing there? Oh, they're cute. Oh, you know, enjoying myself. <laughs> cute. <laughs> All right, do so you want to open this up? Yes, ma'am. Kyle just throw some bumped of those into on the chair. <laughs> Kyle's like a ghost. We never see him. We just know he's here. Oh, so yeah. I've never seen a biscuit container this small before oh. in my life. It's just four. All right. Season these up a little bit before we put them on. And we'll throw them in the oven and we'll let those bake spin. while we do other things. And now I'll take that leftover dough and roll it up and use it again? Yep. Yes, I was yep. wondering. We're not going to waste it. All right. My mom always says, waste not, want not. Let's see how these are going to come. I'll keep it. Oop, five of them in there. Okay. Land it right where we wanted it. That's right. Well, Oops. I got these because they're flaky, <laughs> flaky layers. All right. So instead of making the big full-size biscuits, we can make them this way. Again, it's all about speed. It's about speed? Mm -hmm. Speed. Oh, no. Quickly. <laughs> getting, taking my time here. <laughs> getting, no, honey, it's only a half hour show. <laughs> <laughs> and we have friends coming over. That's right. You've got friends <laughs> coming over in a half hour. All right, so we'll put some of those on. And ah, okay, well, I hope they don't mind this form. What are these? Gingerbread? I'm going to season bread. these up with a little bit of garlic <laughs> powder and some salt and pepper. This is close quarters here today. <laughs> so what are the biscuits going to be for? We're going to put different toppings and such on, put them okay. on a tray. Oh, yum. All right, Danielle. Yes, ma'am. These are washed. Start grabbing some of her scraps. All right. And roll them around the berries. Okay. Because timing matters. <laughs> and I'm going really slow. So like one berry per roll? Yeah. All right. My hand's wet, and now I'm trying to use a grinder. 
I love having you guys here, but it seems like I have so much more room when you're not. <laughs> oh, who needs space when you're cooking, right? Just a little. Actually, people are often amazed when they see this kitchen for the first time because mm -hmm. you can't really get a, an idea okay. on TV of how well, the size of a standard like kitchen. Like so? Yeah. All right. It's just a standard kitchen. Okay. I need to swipe some of that dough, friend. Yes. Go ahead. And, I'll uh, just take a chunk of that. But we stay organized. We stay on task. So we're able you can to do, delegate. <laughs> yeah, so we're able to do big things. Now, the next time you guys are up here to work, you're going to have a lot more work to do in the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're earning our stripes right now. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to put those on there. I'm going to give no the bacon a little bit cook, of a honey. <laughs> Huh? I said, no more I can't cook, honey. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, if you saw this tree, you would believe it because <laughs> it's not a tree. You know what, though? It's To me, like I said, being in the kitchen is a necessary thing. And why not have some fun with it? Why not have your friends come? So these have, then we'll bake these up, and while we're baking them up, we're going to make up some other things, some spreads and such. All right. You get to make noise. I'll get the chopper out. That's <laughs> always fun. All right. You still find right. some dough? See, good. You're, you're using it. You don't necessarily yeah, look like gingerbread men, but that's all right. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Now these that you just put the, the fruit in, I'm going to take a sip of that. Ooh. What is that? Ginger Madagascar brown sugar? cinnamon. Madagascar cinnamon. Interesting. Huh. And I'm gonna dust these a little bit. So what we're gonna have here, well these will pretty much be done with the fruit, but the others will have kind of a base to do different toppings and such with. And you will be the envy of all your friends. <laughs> oh. Oops. Dropping food here. All right. That's good. I'm gonna throw these in the oven. Oh, you don't want my gingerbread. Oh, <laughs> so. And that is? Nothing. Ooh, I like that one. Oh, yeah. That one smells like Christmas. Okay. All That's right. That's a fat one. All right. And we'll set this in the oven. And I'm going to set it for 10 minutes. I always set it for less than I need <laughs> because that way it'll beep and remind me. Gotcha. If, I, if I set it for gotcha. the full, because sometimes it can, it can go over, you know, when you especially when you're working with smaller mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. So we want to be able to keep an eye on it. And what do you do Stop with the leftover like, dough? We'll do something with it later. <laughs> Don't play with the food either. Right, right, now, two. right now, which is, oh no, play with your food. Definitely play with your food. <laughs> Never mind. All right, so we're going to dice up some green onions. Now we're going to create some, did you make a face over onions? No, I'm still with <laughs> onions. Okay. You can take the end off. Mm -hmm. And like I always say, I use the greens. I love the greens. Okay. Mm -hmm. So give us maybe three of those like that. All right. Danielle, I'm going to have you start shucking some peas. All right. And it doesn't matter the size, right? Well, but you want to keep them small because they are going on appetizers. Okay. All right. So do you know how to? Nope. Now we need to crack the them. shell. Okay. And then you open it up, and there's peas inside. Oh, pull out the pea puzzle. Gotcha. All right. Yeah. Huh. Simple enough. And oddly enough, and I learned this because of Joe, because he was up here doing a show with me, I always turn my nose up at peas. I discovered peas like this I like. Oh, okay. All right. It's not like the frozen not peas. Bad. No. I just realized <laughs> that I was chopping onions. All right. There we go. Well, oh, you're doing a fine job. Well, thank you. I'm a better cook than I thought. You know, I know. I've like learned so much today. You know, it's like looking behind Whoops. the curtain. You're discovering how easy it is. Right. Row number three, if you drop food on the floor, don't use that food. No, <laughs> no, that stays there. Yeah. But don't worry. I have an award-winning cleaning crew that comes in afterwards and cleans everything up. So. <laughs> yeah. Not. Okay. Ooh, bacon, bacon. You can smell it. Bacon, bacon, bacon. Are you going to burn it? Not on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of try to avoid that. Normally, the key with cooking bacon to get it really crispy cooked through is to cook it slow. Mm. But I don't have the time to cook it as slowly mm. today as I normally do. Right, so now, I know some people burn. like to make their bacon by baking it in the oven. What are your thoughts on I've that? I've done it, and it worked out great. I used a Pyrex pan, and when I reached in to pull the pan out, the pan exploded. Oh, so okay. it was probably a fluke. Maybe there was a crack in the pan that I never saw, but I have never been able to bake it since then. Because, oh my goodness, I had glass, bacon, and grease everywhere. Oh, yikes. It was... It that was probably was a mess to clean up. Oh, yeah. 
after I stop okay. screaming. <laughs> so how do you girls feel about radishes? Let's do it. We're trying like, all do sorts I like of things them? today. I don't believe I do, but I'm not very sure. Well, again, I'm going to take and just do a couple slices and then chop them down small. I'll take these mm. off of here for you. We found out Alexis's palate is very, uh, very slim. <laughs> very slim. If you have a seven-year-old, six-year-old, I eat the same things they do. Yeah, <laughs> but you're also open to trying things. No, I'm just doing it for the camera. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. And here I was momentarily impressed. Yes, oh. and I have burned a little bit of the bacon for you. Yay! I call oh. the burnt pieces. <laughs> it goes against the grain for me to do that, but I also try to make people happy. And you can put your radishes in there. All right, peas are done. Okay. Now chopped up like this, this does look familiar. Are these typically on tacos or radishes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Salads. All things. Yeah. Salads and different things. I'm not okay. overly fond of radishes, um, but they have a peppery taste, and sometimes when you blend them into other things, you get a really nice. So I just thought, you know, why not? We'll give it a shot. Yeah, not radishes okay. by themselves, but like with yeah, something. radishes by themselves kind of upset me. Gotcha. Because they are pretty strong, aren't they? Oh, yeah. Got a real strong peppery taste. That's why I just had just that little bit. Okay. All right, the bacon went over a little bit, but that'll make Alexis happy. <laughs> <laughs> and we live to make Alexis happy. <laughs> All right, so, Danielle. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. We're going to do, if I can find my forks. Did you guys still have the cream cheese, or did you throw it on the floor? <laughs> okay, it came back from get the floor. The, get some of the cream cheese out, put it in your bowl. Okay. Oh, thank you. And we're going to make some spreads, All real right. simple spreads. So you start okay. with cream cheese, and then you add in different things. We've got the bacon, we've got the green onions, we've got the... Do you want all of it, or just and, a little bit in oh, there? Oh, do it all. Okay. Um, actually, a little bit at a time, because we're going to use different toppings. All right. However you want it. Is that, is that dark enough for you? That is lovely. <laughs> Look what I but do. But I do, I have another... Wamper here. I don't like cream cheese either. <laughs> well, then look. Unless it's strawberry. I do actually like strawberry cream cheese, but not regular. <laughs> I'm very picky here. I don't like that creamy. Well, I have the feeling the more you come here, you know, your, your palate will just expand. There you go. <laughs> you can make some spreads with some sour cream. How's there that? There you go. But I don't like that. I'd rather eat the, what is this again? Cream, cream cheese. The cream cheese than sour cream. I don't even like sour cream on my tacos. <laughs> but if you like it, a lot of <laughs> Mix them up. All right, Danielle, yes. you've got some bacon you can crumble. you got some things. We're just going to blend it into the cream Blend cheese. it in here. Okay. And then we'll set it aside. Then when we get some biscuits and such out. Okay. Let's see. And so I'll just enough. take a little bit and put it in here? Yeah, whatever you want to do. All right. Let's do some green onion here. Some of this really wildly overcooked bacon. Mm -hmm. You see, now this looks good. First, some will do some green onion and bacon. Let's try some of this. Well, this is just going to town on that bacon. <laughs> and see, something doing things like this... You were mixing it, right? Yeah. Yep. The biggest part of the process is the prep. Because we want to make everything small, because make it bite size. Look mm -hmm. at me, I'm chopping up pepperonis. <laughs> and you don't like pepperonis. No, I don't. Alright, so we're going to finish prepping here. And when we come back, we'll get the biscuits out, and we'll start actually making little appetizers. Things that we can eat. <laughs> yep. Okay? So we'll be back shortly. Join us. We'll find something else to grow some Lexus out with. <laughs> <laughs> got a bunch of different toppings. Why don't you describe, I'm gonna get the biscuits out. Describe sure. some of the stuff you put together there. All right, so this one is cream cheese with um, green onion and bacon. And then this one I believe is radish, walnut, and pea. And then I think those ones Alexis did. Well, if you wanted to go ahead and continue naming them, I was gonna let you because honestly, I was just throwing a bunch of stuff in. <laughs> well, this one also looks like radishes with, I think, that was sour cream. Sour cream very, and pea. Yeah. And the, both these were cream cheese. Sour cream for this one. Bacon. 
with cream cheese, possibly. Yes, I put some other stuff in there <laughs> that looks really good. But the fun of it is like we, we get to surprise ourselves, so. And a lot of times up here, people say, oh, this is wonderful. What's in it? Oh, I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. I play in the kitchen, and I throw stuff together, and I never do the same thing twice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And stuff, so you end up with some wonderful, happy accidents. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, they all look delicious. And I like how we had the variation of cream cheese as a base and sour cream. Mm -hmm. That way you get, like, a little bit of everything, so. You can use, like, salad dressing or my mayonnaise. It's just not as thick. Mm -hmm. um, I just automatically oh, pull these out. So what I'm going to do now... And get these. I would ask you to do it, but they're really hot. <laughs> oh well. Flip it. And I'm gonna get. We're gonna make a quick tapenade with mm -hmm. olive, and then we'll start putting these together. All right. And yeah. then we have a nice little tray. I mean, I know this is gonna air after Christmas, but you know, we're still in the Christmas spirit. Mm -hmm. And there's still New Year. That's right. I mean, that's when you want to eat all the snacks. <laughs> of course, I can't guarantee Kyle had this edited by then. <laughs> <laughs> I told him he's off the hook until January first. <laughs> because he's put up with my delays. So see, we're gonna have a really big variety here. Shapes, we've got some with the fruit in them. Mm -hmm. That is so hot, I can't even tell you. <laughs> Whoa! All right, now real quick, what I'm gonna do, in, I sorted this. This is just regular green olives and some Kalamata olives, which are Greek. Okay. And I drained the brine off and checked for pits, because even though they say they're pitted, you always wanna check. So I'm just gonna throw that in the chopper real quick. And that's done. Well, you girls have got a big mess to clean up before you leave. <laughs> we got to earn our keep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're doing just fine. <laughs> this is this tapenade, and I do variations of it. Sometimes there's bacon in it, different things. Really popular as an appetizer at the murder dinners. Mm -hmm. And I said I was going to switch to something new. And everybody said, well, you still have to do tapenade. So what exactly is a tapenade? It's just tapenade. It's it's an olive, chopped olive preparation, okay. basically. So what you would do with that, because we're not making it into a spread, put some cream cheese on, and it kind of works as a glue. Mm -hmm. And then add some of this. And hold it right over the bowl so the excess falls back in. Mm. And look, it looks like a little That's Christmas tree. It's all decorated. Oh, yeah. So you guys can go ahead now. Okay. These are all your choices. Okay. Let's move this out of your Let's way. Move this to the middle, though. Move that to the middle. Now, nor there's forks and spoons in here. Normally, I use spreaders just because it's easier. But I think I kind of lost control at some point. <laughs> so let me find my mini tray. Okay. All right. And the thing you want to do when you do an appetizer tray also is have a variety of textures and flavors. So I bought some of these little mini toasts. Mm -hmm. Reaching over each other a little. Yeah. No. Well, that's because you guys are in my way. <laughs> Get out my I'm kitchen. not complaining. I'm very glad you're ah. here. <laughs> this Happy is the to part be. that I'm bad at. <laughs> Ask me to spray anything and I'll like make a mountain. Well, stop saying you're bad at things and take a take an adventure and do it. Oh, I'm doing it. I know <laughs> you're doing it. <laughs> and you're doing fine. So Thank what did we do? We, we had some fresh peas, some radish, some green onion, some pepperoni. mushroom, some pepperoni, bacon. Mm -hmm. um, some of the rolls, I seasoned the outside of them a bit. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to garnish like this. And you can cut up some cheese, put some cheese and crackers oh, on yeah, a platter like this. And just all sorts of fun snacks. I love this. Chris and I do this at home quite often for dinner. Mm -hmm. We'll put together some appetizers and we'll sit at the bar and have a glass of wine. And I mean, I'll do the same thing in restaurants. I don't order a main course, I order appetizers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you can try have different things and look at how cute those are turning out. I Just really see. like this fruit. Yeah, those are So what nice. do you typically put on fruit, like as far as... You don't have, you can just, those you can leave them just the way they are. Okay. I season the outside. I just, what I like to have on an appetizer tray, okay, appetizers should set you up for a meal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so you want to hit all the points. You want to hit sweet, salty, savory, sour, everything. Okay. So that when you get to the table, you're not craving any one thing. Gotcha. Right. Okay? So if you throw some fruit in here with a little bit of the, all the different things, we're hitting all those notes. And... Uh, that's that's my theory on doing an appetizer mm -hmm. tray. I just like to have, and I like the different textures. You gotta have soft, you gotta right. have creamy, you gotta have crunchy, and it's fun to do. And you see how easy it is. Yeah. I mean, and I bought one radish. I bought eight pea pods. 
<laughs> you know, there's not a lot of any one thing. And it's very customizable, too. Exactly. So, yeah. like, we were talking about various, everybody has things they don't like. Right. <laughs> so, we were talking about, you know, or the way you prepare them. Alexis mm -hmm. likes her bacon really cooked. Yes. Um, Excuse me, Reese. So, you can do really all those bright. different things. Mm -hmm. You can do a spread like this, and you could plop down a nice shrimp on top of it. Oh, yeah. Or a bit of greens, if you mm -hmm. want to dress it up even more. There's a lot you can do. And you see how easy it is. It's just uh, not even thinking about it. It's just like, oh, here, grab some of this, grab some of that. Look how cute that is. And like I you were know. saying, it's really fun to do with, like, your family or mm -hmm. friends. Right. I would, I would think it would be fun. I was saying before, you know, you have friends coming in a half hour. Yeah. yeah. Get everything prepped and then have them, them together. Yeah. yeah, exactly. Because time in the kitchen and time spent with friends and family, for me, is just the best time. Mm hmm um, I have guests come and they stay overnight after an event or something. They always end up in here for breakfast. Yeah. They set the dining room table, but no, they want to be in the kitchen, <laughs> which is fine with me. Mm, yeah. You know, I just, I enjoy, like this, I just enjoy the whole process. Yeah, because so many people think that, you know, being in the kitchen means you have to be separate from everyone else mm -hmm. in the conversation. When it's like, no, bring the conversation into the kitchen, get exactly. involved. You know, more hands makes light work. <laughs> well, yeah, and sometimes if you have, well, you know what my life is like and Chris's, and sometimes that's the only time of the day that we can really spend together. Mm -hmm. So why should I, he be sitting in the living room while I'm in the kitchen or vice versa? Right. Okay. I, don't, I don't like this new open concept design that they're doing in a lot of homes where the kitchen is open to everything else. Okay. I do like it to be separate, mm -hmm. but I want it to be welcoming. Right. I want people to come in and say, I don't know how to cook. I can't make anything. And then look what you're doing. Yeah. You know, you made a chutney, I, I think. I mean, that's what it's A chutney-ish. Yeah. 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 So that's the whole idea. It's all about, you know, the simplicity and having fun and being together. And these are going to be wonderful. Yeah, they look delicious. I know it. I love the variety. Yeah. I don't know what's in these. I don't know if you've used them up yet. So oh, that's a lot of stuff. So yeah, the murder <laughs> mysteries are starting up again in January on the 4th. And they're pretty much booked through January. But I'll be posting the February date soon. And you'll be able to come up here and have fun with all of us with the bartender mm -hmm. who is kind of scandalous. Um, we can try these now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, please. <laughs> I literally, I just want to try it. What seasoning did you put on here? Sorry, it's interrupted. Probably mm -hmm. powdered garlic or granulated garlic. Hmm. And maybe some salt and pepper. Is it nice and flaky? And those, are, those are the grands. <laughs> okay. They're like this thick, and I peeled them down so they would cook faster. And they also have more of a, a bite than a whole biscuit. Mm -hmm. So, and, you know, like Stories. I said, there's a lot of things you can throw in there. So, yes, please enjoy. <laughs> Indulge. Enjoy. So, this one I think is the bacon with the green onion. Okay. Oh, and you have to try the fruit ones too. Okay. Even if you just oh, you yeah. have to eat the whole thing, but take a bite mm -hmm. because that fruit in there is nice. And a lot of times in that, I'll put in some brown sugar. I'll yeah, that's some what maple syrup. The topping is. Different oh, yeah. things. That was the nutmeg, I think, and cinnamon on top Ooh. of that. And this is so simple too because, like, this is stuff you would already have in your fridge. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just throwing it all together and using that creativity. The only this thing I bought for today was the radish, mm -hmm. which I still have half of, the green onions, and the peas. Mm -hmm. Everything else I had on hand. So a lot of times I do that. I have to make something, I'll open the fridge and I'll start going, hmm. But that's been where some of our most wonderful things have, mm -hmm. have come from, is, you know, putting together unlikely things because I didn't have anything else. I ran out of ketchup at one, <laughs> and this lady wanted ketchup, and I made made ketchup out of something completely different, and she just went, lost her mind. It was just great. <laughs> what kind of ketchup is this? I have to smell it. Very special is what it is. <laughs> Exclusive just to treetops. That's right. Can I ever make it again? No. No. Never happen again. But, you know, it's just, I said mm -hmm. right from the beginning, it's just taking the fear out of the kitchen. Yeah. A lot of people think if they can't prepare a big fancy meal, then what's the point? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to nuke something. And it doesn't have to be like that. Right. And then something like this can be so much fun. Yeah. yeah. No, Alexis is an IBD example. You know, we came in here, we warned Connie, we said we were going to burn <laughs> this place down. We can watch, don't let us touch anything. And I mean, I feel like I could do something now in the kitchen. Like, I'm not as timid, you know? Well, that's good. And like I said, sometimes it's just a matter of opening the fridge, say, oh, I've got a tube of biscuits, i got some cream cheese, i got some leftover veg. And, you know, if you have plain cream cheese, you can blend balsamic vinegar into it. Oh, okay. You know, there's just, once you get started, because mm -hmm. there's no rules. You know, it's just a matter of taste. And you may make a combination well, really that's good. not your favorite, but it may be somebody Someone else's. else's. Yep. And I can't tell you how many times people will come up here and they'll be like eating the olive top and I'd be like, this is so great. What is it? You tell me, go, oh, what? I don't like olives. Right. <laughs> yeah, olives? exactly. Like me from the last one. That's yeah. right. Because you enjoyed the cranberries. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and these are bites. If you don't like it, it's not like you're committed to a whole plate. Right. right. But again, like you can see where it would be fun to have friends get together and put things together. And, yeah. you know, you can do different whipped butters. You know, I can oh. make the herb butter and such up yep. here. <laughs> so you're not stuck to this. This was just like a 
a launching pad. Mm -hmm. So I'll be checking back with you two, and, and I'm going to have you throw a party and have your friends come and make apple pudding. <laughs> you know. Connie's kitchen on the go. That's yes, right. We'll be dropping in literally from the ceiling. <laughs> I'm here to check on you. <laughs> Yeah, now that's the kind of thing you can make for breakfast, too. Oh, yeah, wow. I was going to say, this is really sweet compared mm -hmm. to everything else on the plate. It wouldn't necessarily be sweet. The only thing really missing good. on the platter right now is chocolates. I would usually put some chocolates oh, in there, too. Okay. But. So is this the nutmeg that you put on it? I think with so. With the fruit? Okay. It's kind of so. like a dessert, some like a breakfast cinnamon, dessert. Some yeah. yeah some, so we're going to wrap it up and go because we're going to eat, <laughs> and then we're going to clean up. So thanks you guys for hanging around. Yeah, I thanks for having, having us. Time. And taking a chance on us possibly. Oh, yeah. What a great chance. teacher you oh, are. Thank you. <laughs> well, watch OCTV. You'll see a lot more of these two. They've got a real good on-air chemistry, and they're doing some great things. And I'm really pleased. I think you guys are doing yeah, great. Well, thank so. you. So come back. This was episode 64. I will try not to make it so long next time. And in the meantime, remember the promise. Be kind to your family and friends. And spend some time in the kitchen having fun. Yeah. That's what it's all about. And try new things. Yes. Take it from me. <laughs> Thank you. I was hoping you would say that. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs>